What was the most defining moment of your life, Sterling? And it can be more than one, personal or professional. Right. So um, I think probably the most significant incident in my life uh, was in 1997. Okay. I was at an Atlanta Braves baseball game. Uh, they were playing the New York Mets. Uh, I was there with a few friends from work uh, and was sitting right behind third base. And uh, I hate to say we were ordering some beers. And so I was it's turned away. Game. <laughs> I was turned away from the field. Right. Um, and crowd started to yell. And I turned back. And a bat hit me right in the forehead. Really? Yeah. It turns out the catcher from the New York Mets uh, had swung and let go of his bat. He didn't do it on purpose, right? But Just he swung reflex. and let go, came out of his hands. Okay. Uh, and the bat flew up in the stands and hit me in the forehead and crushed my skull. So crushed my sinus cavity, tore the lining of my brain. Don't take this wrong. It's not bromance, <laughs> but you're a good-looking dude. <laughs> so, yeah, really. I mean, yeah. I, if you, my, I, my wife said, I feel that like I'm actually, getting punked right now. I don't believe you. I, I swear, it's okay. true. My, my wife said it actually made me look better. I used to have kind of a heavy brow ridge. Interesting. That's my, my brother used to make fun of me, kind of this caveman thing, <laughs> <laughs> right? So, it. Okay. Uh, my wife said it flattened things out. Actually, improved my appearance. But yeah, but it almost killed me. Wow. They took me to the to the uh, hospital, of course. Mm -hmm. um, the neurosurgeon who saw me said, uh, you know, I'm sure you feel like the unluckiest guy in the stadium, but I gotta tell you, if you wouldn't have turned at the last second, right, and you would have taken that bat in the side of your head or the back of your head, you would have been dead pretty much instantly. So um, I've really, from that point, whenever huh. I get down, whenever something looks like it's going wrong, and it's easy to let your problems, whatever they are, sure. day to day, kind of blow up into a big thing, I do stop and think, you know what, I'm just lucky to be alive. I mean, mm -hmm. every day, that, uh, that I've got so, really is a gift, right? Because I could have been dead right there. How, how long were you out of commission? I mean, from daily activity? Yeah, really not that long. Really? Yeah, about, about two, probably two weeks. But wow. I was back at work about a, a week later. So what, one day they were telling people at work, Sterling was almost killed, he's in the hospital, right. and I was back at work the next week. And people were like, well, what happened? Right. And I had this plastic thing glued to the front imagine. of my mm. skull the whole time, and it was all black and blue and didn't look great. But uh, that was part of that same restless thing, right? I mean, you can only mm -hmm. sit in the bed for so long. Sure. So yeah, I, and with your personality, you want to do better. got up, and it's like, what am I going to do, right? Lay, lay in bed with a plastic and thing on like, my hey, skull or go to work? Here we go. Yeah, there you it. go.